Hello YouTube, Dragon Man here. Welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. I have a updated deck profile of my Cybers deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! And as a special surprise for you, I am doing the review on my Ruby Swimsuit playmat. This was actually like one of my first playmats I've actually ever owned. And from my local game store, I was able to pick up a Dark Magician Girl. This is a new thing, uh, pop figure that's out. And it's one of four. I don't know if I want the blue eyes, but... If they somehow come out with a Buster Blader l later on, who knows? Or more dragon, or a different dragon. If it was red eyes, I would gladly take a red eyes. But it's blue eyes, like, mm, I don't really like blue eyes all that much. But... I'm not here to brag, so without further ado, let's get to the on to the review. Well, I play from the um, structure deck. I play one segmental or mental dragon. This car is to me. I've actually found this thing to be useful. Um, you can either wipe all the monsters in the main zone, or using the uh, ritual monster. Um, Storming Paladin, which I'll get into. You can basically set, summon him for free. And you get literally a, a 26 beat stick. His effect would be negated because of Paladin's skill, but he's a beat stick. So, one copy of him. One copy of Balancer Lord. Now, I play a lot, a lot of one copies of a lot of these cards just because they're kind of selective. But Balance the Lord, Balance the Lord out of a lot of them might be the only one I probably would like to run multiple copies of, like maybe a two of. One copy of Dot Scraper. And why only one copy? Because usually you only get to use his skill once each. Unless somehow it's one each per copy. If that's the case, then, well, Dot Scraper will be broken. I play one copy of Link Infra Flyer. And I play a playset of Backup Secretary. I believe every single Cyber deck runs three copies of this. I may There may be a couple people running two, so they can run other cards. But as long as you have not special summoned this card, if you control a Cyber's monster, you can special summon this card for free from your hand. I play two Bit Troopers. Of course, to people... Bit Trooper, if you have to have a level 2, level 1 in your hand, while well, with this card in your hand, you can discard them to special summon this card. I don't run a whole lot of level 1s and 2s in this deck. It's mostly 3s and 4s. Now, here's a card I absolutely love. S-I-M-M, or Sim Templar. Or Tablar. 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 You can reveal this card from your hand and target one level 4 Cybers monster. It has to be level 4, not level 4, lower. Keep that in mind. In your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand to a zone a Link monster points to. Not a heart condition. And special summon it. And return the targeted monster from your hand to your... Oh, from your graveyard to your hand. So. And of course you can only activate one of these once per turn. I only have two because I've only pulled two. At least, I would have to check the rest of my boxes. But, if I could, I might run three, just because he is such a good card. I run two Flame Buffaloes. I might peg this down to one. Because his kill is very selective, but if you can get him on the normal summon, or uh, find a way to get him out from a special summon, like from Balance of the Lord... He becomes very handy as long as you have a cyber monster in your hand because he lets you draw two when he leaves the field. But I run, I don't run lots of copies of him because his skill is kind of restricting. But if you go first, you can if you can get the skill to go off since most cyber monsters special summon, 
you don't you're plussing. I mean, the only way for you to not plus is you just draw, I guess, traps. Now, on my last profile, I had three of this, but this time around, I pegged him down to two. Because his skill is... I don't care about his whole... When he's used for Link Summon, reduce your opponent's mo monsters by a thousand. I don't really mind about that. It's like, I want to, um, to do have other cards in my deck. So I pegged him down to two. He still works. Now here's a card from the uh, latest structure deck, which Buffalo was also from. No, Widget Kid was from the Stark deck. The one with Transcode, I believe. Yeah. He's from Transcode. The Transco Stark deck and Buffalo's from the Structure deck with Power Kid Tucker. Okay, I play, of course, three copies of Widget Kid. I have not really seen anybody play more than, uh, less than three because he, he's such a good card. When you normal summon, when he's normal summon or special summon, you can special summon one Cyber's monster from your hand in defense position. Now, the funny thing is, that doesn't mean, it does not matter what is it, because of how his skill works, it's not level restricted. So if you want to, if, you sp normal summon him, you can special summon Sig Metal for free. So, again, and there's many ways you can do summon him out. Now, here's a card, another card that I've seen no, nobody running less than three. Lady Debug. Because she is so good. If this card is normal summon or special summon, you can add one level three or lower mo cyber monster from your deck to your hand. Hmm, level threes. Uh, Secretary, Dot Scraper, Infoflyer, Widget Kid, Buffalo. So you have lots of targets you can choose from. And these are just from my deck. They Cyrus has a lot of level threes and lower monsters. It's just that these are the ones I pick. Now, I... I won't be getting into the ritual one just yet. I'm going to be going over the few hand traps I put in this deck. I pulled me a ghost ogre and snow rabbit from the um, premium gold from the dual packs that Konami's releasing right now. It's a it has the premium gold and the and I guess some legacy packs. But yeah, this card I only play, I only, again I only have one copy, but it's an okay. It's actually really good. Actually, all hand traps are really good. It's just a for for me, ogre is the one that stops cards that's already on the field. So, and there's a lot of times where it's like that. Just your opponent just has these cards that just continue. It's like, I hate you. Okay. Next, I play three copies of Effect Failure. I may peg these down to two and throw in a different hand trap. I just don't know which one. I know Ash Blossom is recommended. I know that for a fact, but the problem is Ash Blossom is just really difficult to pull. And this is such a generic hand trap, It's it still works. Effect Failure still works. That's one of the best things about Effect Failure. Is it works okay? Onward to Paladin of Storm Dragon. This is my ritual monster. This is the only ritual monster I play in this deck. Not saying Cyberus Wizard, um, is a Cyberus Wizard the level seven or eight Cyberus monster r ritual monster? I'm not saying it's not bad, I'm not saying it, it's a really good card. I just like this one be just because it's easier to get out. That's my thing. It's easy to get out. Now, one thing I'll say about ritual monsters. Um, I don't know that the ruling for most of these are because they... Back when I, before I stopped Yu-Gi-Oh! A couple of years ago. Ritual monsters always had the effect of... This card can only be ritual summoned by this ritual. But this one says, but Ritual Monster for some weird reason now says, you can Ritual Summon this card with Sign Ritual. Well, so, 
question. So because they don't have that ruling, or does Konami have a secret ruling making where ritual monsters can only be special summoned or summoned through their ritual? I mean, I believe that's how it actually goes. But because they took off that ruling, it's it's a it's weird for me. So I don't. If you know, please tell me, because. I'm kind of lost on that stuff. I've just been using it for my rituals. Through the ritual summoning, which I, that's how you're supposed to do it. And I play one signed ritual. I usually only see people playing one, maybe two, but the problem is you don't want sign a ritual in your opening hand at all. It's like usually if you see it in your opening hand, it's like, ouch, I bricked. Hopefully you have an extra copy. <laughs> I play one copy of Monster Reborn. One copy of Reasoning. And this card, your opponent is going to be making a, a really large gamble. Okay, the whole lot of it is like most of my cards are either level 3s or level 4s. Because, see, 1, 4. Six. Okay, so that's six level fours. Three. Let's see. One, four, <laughs> seven. Yeah, I got I got more level threes. So if someone were to say three or four, I might be hurting. <laughs> but that's the thing with reasoning. It's, it has potential for a free special summon. And the only way this is going to hurt, really truly hurt, if... One of these cards get hit. That's really the only way. Now I still only play two cards of gold sarcophagus. I was still like a third to throw in the deck. And I mostly only use gold sarcophagus for dot scraper and balancer lord. After that it's just okay. Now to take on just a little annoying cards, I do play one copy of Cosmic Cyclone. During my opponent's turn, I do play one co I now play one copy of Scapegoat. This card has come in handy a lot, but then it's also made me break in my in my games. I play two copies of Sign Up Backdoor, I don't play three. It's a card that can add from your to your hand. It's not a bad card. It's really good. It's just that it's one of those times, depending on how your game goes, it can either aid you or break you. Because the biggest problem is, can you target anything from the card you banish? Just like last time, I played one copy of Solemn Strike. One new card I t uh, added, Blazing Mirror Force, basically Ring of Destruction on Roids. I would play Drowning or Quaking, but I haven't actually had a need to actually use this card because most of the time I'll, with this deck, I'm either opening up with monsters or spells. Mostly monsters because it's mostly monsters. So, and I should probably reduce my trap count a little. I play one limit code. Limit code actually comes in handy uh, when I actually do get off because I'm constantly link summoning. So limit code actually does come in handy. Now here's a code that uh, a card I might probably will be taking out and replacing it with probably another spell because I don't think I need another monster. Recode alive, and I play one copy of Red Reboot. And that's it for the main deck. Let's get these up. See, I already sent me shuffle. <laughs> okay, so. Onwards, my extra deck. 
I play one copy of Link Karibo. I don't see anybody ever playing more than one. Unless it gets banished. Which not many people is going to be banishing a Link Karibo. One copy of Nightmare Phoenix. One copy of Restoration Point Guard. He's just handy. One copy of Nightmare Cerberus. One copy of Underclock Taker. One copy of Cyber's Witch. And she is the one that lets you search out the ritual monster and the ritual spell from your deck. I, uh, and that's any of its ritual monsters. But the thing is, you can only target Signet Ritual and Cyber's Ritual Monster. One copy of Pence deck. One proxy dragon. Proxy dragon. The only reason why it's here is it's an easy link two, and it's a, it it's a link two with the two side arrows. Yes, there's nightmare goblin. Yes, I know. And I can probably easily throw nightmare Glo goblin in this deck, and I might will. But there's an upcoming ban list, so I don't know if I want to or not. It's like, oh, so I might just leave proxy dragon in there because it's so generic. On to my link threes. I play one copy of Transcode. Now, all the Transcode, uh, well, all the t Code Talkers, mo I've always seen people usually play just one of each. I, don't, I really don't see many people playing more than one. This one, I have seen, when it first came out, I've seen many people play multiple copies of this one because you can just put one in front of the other in terms of link summoning and just make one just giant Beat stick. One power code. Again, he's a he's a generic monster, but it's like mm, he's okay. He's just there. Of course, code. One copy of X Code Talker. Actually, you know what? There we go. One copy of the OG decode. I mean, I don't know why, but in Vrains, I'm expecting decode to like get an upgrade form, like a Link Four version. I don't know why. I just feel that. I play one copy of Nightmare Griffin, and I play the one copy of Firewall, and the, of course, Firewall may be getting hit on the upcoming ban list. Thank you, Gokies. Well, Nightmare Gokies, thank you very much. So, this is my Cybers deck. Um, it's a lot better than the last time. I don't brick as much as I used to with how it was set up. And I'm far more confident in this deck now than it was when I first did my first deck profile of my Cybers. Because my Cybers, I, I just had so many weird cards in there. It's like, oh, this is so cringy. But, to me, this works... Let's see what card do I want on top. I want that. Where's the metal? There you are. I want him on top. Gotta have the dragons on top. You know, Paladin technically is a dragon, but he's a also technically a warrior to paint. Take your pick. But that's my Cyrus deck pro deck. I like it, and and Yuga Reigns is still going and it's going strong. We're I think they're in the second season of. Vrains now, and usually each Yu Gi Oh series lasts for about three to four seasons. If I am correct, except for the original Yu Gi Oh, Yu Gi OG Yu Gi Oh had way too many series seasons. Well, without further ado, stay tuned for the next ones. Bye.